Right time for Journeys Interactive and Aisha is here. Good evening to you, Aisha. Good evening, Israel. I missed seeing you earlier because of time constraints. But time to get interactive, get your phones, tablets, and all the gadgets that get talking. You can join the discussion through our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash join news on TV, on Twitter, join news on TV, and on WhatsApp. The number is 0560 Number again is 0560 Please send your name and location when sending that message. And please, the rule is that you don't call. Agreed? Okay. So, President Mahama has responded to his critics who say putting food on the table is an immediate Ghanaian need and not the improved infrastructural developments being carried out by government. In an interview on Radio Savannah in the northern region, the president defended the significant improvement of the country's social infrastructure. He said, roads improve our incomes and so ultimately we eat roads. You might not physically eat the roads as an item, but the roads facilitate the food you eat. So, the question we ask, what do you make of the president's response? Uh, it, it would be a bit unfair to go out and say he hasn't done anything. I mean, by building the roads, because if the roads were that bad, getting the food down south, for one, will make the cost of the food that expensive. So either ways, if the roads were that bad and the foods came down and were that expensive, you, you wouldn't have food on the table. So I mean, it's it's a fair deal. He's it's it's an effort he's he's put in, and I he, he it would be fair enough to commend him from that perspective. Yeah. Sometimes I mean, personally, I have a bit of an issue with his response to some of I mean, you know, his critics. Okay, but then on the other hand, he's human, and we all take. Uh, criticisms in a different, you know, manner. So that is how I, I, I guess he he, he he had to come up with his with his with, with his response, probably based on his anger and how he he could he could accommodate. But I mean, we could overlook some of these things and just commend him where it's due. I think development shouldn't just be seen as money wise or as in putting money in our pockets, but through our roads and. I mean schools and all those things. I, I see them as I mean development, because even considering our um, our major I mean uh, production sites as in cocoa areas, the roads are actually very bad, and they are the main areas giving us all the wealth. Considering Sechi, those areas, they are the main places giving us all the wealth. So if the roads are bad, how how do you assess those I mean cocoa products to I mean? process them into finished goods to, I mean, end the nation something. Through the roads, we get many things in Ghana here. And if he talks about our food, our, let me say our production does in terms of our food and these things, it's a, it's a good uh, idea that I said, because if you don't have a good roads, we can't get our, our foodstuffs and all these things. Yeah, so, and let me say, in some of the uh, rural areas, they are complaining of roads. It's not about their production or is they are complaining about their what their roads so that they can what they can give they can supply us our our, our food stuff so that them to they can earn something so if you don't solve that problem for them how can they get that money that they, you them say them to do it all right so there are lots of messages coming up on facebook israel yeah. will help yeah, us do to, that go to some of them right now umar sterling says he's right i don't think someone in a city such as accra can get food to eat if the the goods cultivated in the bush are not trans transported to the market definitely the goods will even spoil and then the abdul goes on to link the analogy between uh, they says then we eat cars too because cars bring tomatoes and yam. <laughs> and uh, Hab Habebu says, with this statement, and I believe the world goes round. When NDC was then the opposition party, they said to MPP that they should stop boasting with roads because Ghanaians are not going to eat roads. So now it has turned. Beware of African politicians. And uh, Boating says, not roads. It isn't roads that determine what people eat. Your pockets determine what you will eat. <laughs> And uh, Abu Siddiq says, wise man president with humble response to critics, no giddy giddy. Ghana will choose GM November 7. And uh, Frederick says, Mr. Ford, please help farmers because agriculture is a backbone of economic growth in Ghana. 
and telling us uh, we don't eat roads. And uh, Peter, right, a uh, few of their comments. <laughs> On WhatsApp, Robert from Somania says, <laughs> Tundra, these critics should wait for their turn, so we will see how they perform. Um, Danny from... <laughs> Danny seems to be angry with him, so he says, whatever. <laughs> And uh, you, uh, you say the judges are the gods of the land and must be respected. Whoever dared them must be dealt with. But trust me, a sick Nanado administration will be better than a healthy Mahama administration. Nana plus Baumia is equal to Boyan's economy from Mohammed Abdul uh, from the northern region. Well, so we'll move on to our next issue before that let me read this one this one says please joy news you know the facts since when did the president realize we eat roots or determine what we eat he should render an apology to president kufu and ghania this is coming from sly i think this is similar to the message you read on facebook so now what is the right way to apologize and what constitutes a sincere apology is it okay i'm sorry or if you say so, then sorry. Or what exactly will constitute a sincere apology? Let's hear from you on the streets of Accra. Maybe get someone, if it's my girlfriend or my sister or something, I'll try and get her something she likes. Mm, like chocolate, flowers, anything. You would have to approach the person and then accept your faults. Let the person know you know what you've done is wrong and then you apologize. I'm sorry, and I maybe I wouldn't do it again or something. Let the person know how you feel about what you've done. I think you should go up to the person and be totally honest with the person and tell the person, well, you, should, you didn't mean to hurt him. Not that it was in your mind to offend his feelings or anything like that. I was very tearful, but I went up to the person and I sat down and I practically told him the emotions and the reason behind what I did and totally show them there was no form of anger behind the, behind the statement. I call an elderly person to assist me to plead. I had an incident with my parents, my, my mother. So I, when she did not accept my mistake, I called my father to assist me. And she accepted it. I offended him and I had to apologize. And he didn't accept, but I found another friend who he respected and and he accepted it all right so let's see some of the messages coming on facebook is your uh, earlier you, you read one message on the president's response i'm not gonna go to that <laughs> you want to tempt me to go to that no we if, if you're interested, you can get it onto our Facebook page and read Every it for yourself. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna come, come out of the way of my mouth. A <laughs> boy Nathan says, I, I'll go ahead to hit it. I say it and make it simple. I'm sorry, dear, and it will not happen again. A hug or a handshake. Chief Manu says, says, not just to say I'm sorry, I also compensate for wrongdoings and it helps a lot. Bugri Baumia says, You can only render a sincere apology. When you commit a blunder, therefore seeking for forgiveness. Some love says, apology is apology. If you mistakenly offend somebody, the apology should be sorry. But if you are not the cause of it, you say, accept my sympathies or condolence. <laughs> and uh, this one says, I think you have to first apologize to the person even before they complain. This is coming from Martin. Martin. And this one says, it must come from the heart. This is from Robert from Somania. And this, is, this one is still talking about the president. It says, the president stated an incontrovertible fact. The evidence of massive infrastructure development is all over the place. Uh, those are some of your messages on uh, WhatsApp. This one says, look at the person straight in the eye. Make sure you don't flinch. Then say sorry slowly trust me this works perfectly this is coming from mustafa from hey mustafa hmm all right so let's look at uh, victoria beckham a wife of retired footballer david beckham who kissed her daughter on her fifth birthday at the poolside and the photo has been trending 
on social media. While some people have commended her for her actions, others have also criticized her. It seems opinions are divided on what is the appropriate parental behavior uh, should be. So we ask, what is the limit of, for a parent uh, to express love or affection to a child? Me, I think the parents, parents must be good to show love to their child by the way of giving them love in the home, to protect them, not to do bad things, or to be close to them so that they should feel that, yeah, this is my parent, this is my dad, to give them good education but not to that far to kiss, no. So maybe with a warm hug or maybe sharing nice ideas with them, telling them about something so beautiful you know about to make them feel loved too. It depends on the kind of case. Maybe giving a peg on the cheek is okay. That's when we are talking about the Western culture too, it's okay. The parents have values and um, stuff he believes in. So if a parent want to express love, I think he should do it in a way whereby his culture will not be affected. For instance, if a parent in Ghana wants to show love by kissing his ward, let's say a male ward, people will claim it's he or she is promoting lesbianism or gay. So let's say it will be cool in a Western world rather than our part of this world. So I believe if you are trying to show love, you should do it in a manner where your culture will not be affected, your beliefs will not be tempered with. So I can tell there are interesting comments on Facebook from the oh, yeah. smile on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Israel? so there's this photo, this is a photo they, they put out, uh, the Victoria Beckham uh, kissing the daughter Harper. And Habebu says, I just don't know why we blacks always think that whatever white people are doing is right. So if your daughter is in their 20s, <laughs> you, you will kiss her on her lips. <laughs> then where will her boyfriend kiss? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but this is only twenty-year girl. It's a well, little girl. But, Please, but, allow. Okay, but he is making the point, and the boy says, "Wow, in Africa, it's something. Oh, even hugging is a problem." But I love the way my parents show love to the family, share stories, and life experiences with me. I believe it's the best love I have received. Waiting for that love to be stolen, but not now. And uh, Bugri. Bamiya says, kissing your child on the lips is normal as far as uh, he or she is Google child. Of yeah. course, same here. This one says, uh, what's wrong with a mother kissing a daughter? And this one also says, I kissed my three-year-old daughter at home and she won't kiss a boy at school. So let's check it, Ronnie. Oh, okay. He says, I kissed my three-year-old daughter at home and she went to kiss a boy at school. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> So let's check it. This is from Rooney from Takrade. So what's trending? All right. Um, so what's Twitter? trending on uh, on uh, the Twitter trends? Hundred percent. Hashtag hundred okay. percent is trending, and uh, it's actually coming from the latest track that's been dropped by Manifest. <laughs> okay. So we're getting some uh, tweets here, and Grant says. Uh, uh, hashtag 100% is a soon to be forgotten track. Three days cry belong. You go die like something. And uh, Tiflo says breaking news 100% some ambulance. Kanta is on fire again. And uh, <laughs> Kupi says who can say he's better after Obran for except King Sai. And after realizing the hype 100% is enjoying, I believe I should start writing songs. Twitter full a meme, ne a same Every track for trend. <laughs> and uh, Anya Dope, uh, my friends, give respect to who is due. But this is it. So Manifest drops new track, hashtag 100%, featuring Wallace. Let's hear a bit of that. It's playing. You're too short to be telling tall tales. Look at me. Yeah, my bro. Yeah, come on. What you see? Yeah, come on, I'm You go see. Hello, that's where we draw the cases on Jody's Interactive. My name is Aisha Brian.